Hello everyone, today I wanna tell you about Poet Knight, Ulrich von Liechtenstein and his love story, which I think most of the modern people would consider crazy. He was born about 1200 at Murray in the Duchy of Styria, located in the present-day country of Austria. He was a German minnesinger and poet of the Middle Ages, author of a noted work about how knights and nobles may lead more virtuous life. Ulrich was a member of a wealthy and influential ministerialist family. He is a very famous with his self-styled autobiographical work Proud and Dienst, Service of the Ladies. His biography stripped of poetry can be shortened to this. From the age of 12 on, Ulrich received noble training as a page to a lady of much higher station than he, then another four years as a squire to my grave Henry of Istria, son of Duke of Berthold the Fourth of Mirania. He was knighted by Babenberg Duke Leopold VI of Austria in 1222. Ulrich is a documented and Styrian truces in 1244-1245, from 1267 to 1272 Marshal, and in the year of 1272 also as a provincial judge. When Philip of Sponheim, the Archbishop erected Salzburg and deposed the Pope Alexander IV for refusing to make holy orders, Philip raised an army to defend his title. In 1250, Ulrich agreed to fight the Philip's cause in return for Philip's arranging a beneficial marriage to Ulrich's son, Ulrich II, to Kunigunde of Goldegg, and Philip ended a dowry of 500 Salzburg pounds to the agreement. In return, Ulrich II agreed to provide Philip with 100 fighting men for his cause. In August 1252, Philip's forces decisively defeated his enemy at the Battle of Sachsenburg on the Drava, and Ulrich was one of the seven who mediated the ensuing peace. Leader of the Styrian nobility, Ulrich had a hand of absorbing the duchy into the possessions of Rudolf of Habsburg after the ducal house of Babenberg had become extinct in 1246. It is possible that Ulrich was one of the noblemen taken prisoner by King Ottokar II of Bohemia in 1269. Ulrich died on the 26th of January 1275. He was buried in Sekaun in modern-day Austria. So, let's talk about Vraudendienst, the service of the ladies. When Ulrich served as a part of the noble lady, he fell in love with her. The name of the dame is unknown, though by some innuendos we can conclude she was a wife of Leopold VI, Duke of Babenberg. His love was pretty fanatic, he even drank water which lady of his heart used to wash her hands. But he was too shy and didn't dare to speak to her, and he was ashamed by his position. Only at 22, when he was knighted, he decided to tell about his passion. But how would he do this? He was no longer a page who is with his lady all the time. So he found an intermediary in the person of his aunt, who agreed to deliver his letters. Though Ulrich was a great poet, he was illiterate, not a strange thing for the time. But please, don't ask me how he wrote his letters. Well, anyway. The lady's responses show he was only flirting, as it were rather dull times of a married woman that time. Everything was nice and quiet until lady got bored, and she told in the letter she didn't like him, especially his bulging lip. But Ulrich find a way. He found a doctor and asked him to remove a part of his lip. Doctor did it and gave him an ointment, which he was to smear to his lips for six months and which smelled so badly that makes him sick, he couldn't even eat. But there was a plus, lady who heard of his action invited him for a date. But he was so nervous, he couldn't even utter a word. So lady torn a shred of his hair saying that is for your cowardness, and then wrote an angry letter in which she called him a coward. But even then Ulrich didn't give up. He started roaming from one torment to another and never lose to his adversary, and everywhere he praised the lady of his heart. However, in one of the fight he almost lost his little finger, 
It was hanging just on a piece of a skin. But he found a doctor who managed to get it back so skillfully that in six months Ulrich could move it. When heard about this, his lady wrote it was only a lie to make her soft. Ulrich got offended and asked his friend to cut off his little finger. The friend agreed and cut it off. They even sent it to the lady as a proof. What a nice present. Well, at least it wasn't like this. In the box you'll find a special gift. Theon's favorite toy. He cried when I took it away from him. I presume they were drunk, no traces of that in the point though. As she received such present, she wrote another angry lesson. But that didn't stop the night. He went to Venice and bought 12 dresses for himself. I guess I stick with my theory of him being drunk. And pigtailed with jewels. He dressed the best and well to travel around the world. Ahead of him rode a herald who told everyone he was a knight, where did he go and why, and also read out letters announcing Sir Ulrich wished to go incognito. Ulrich for duels and women's dress as if it was a goddess of Venus. Besides Harold, there were five servants, Bannerman, Bars carrying his sword and shield, two trumpeteers and four squires and two violin players. The most interesting part no one considered Ulrich as crazy. To the contrary, he got even more respect than before. Knights considered it is an honor to fight him. He even one time met some crazy Czech knight as crazy as he was, whom Ulrich defeated. While he was traveling, he manages to get a family and four children, but that didn't spoil his plans regaining his lady, even more curious his wife also wasn't against them. One day, Ulrich received a letter from the lady of his heart, which said if he wanted to see her, he should wear a beggar's dress and wait in the crowd of parishioners who begged the money near the castle, and she would put down the robe made of curtains. So he did as she asked. When he climbed to the lady, they start talking, and lady asked to prove his love, and hang on the robe a bit. Ulrich agreed, and she released the robe. I am ready! Um, I mean, to be so understanding. Um, when I'm in the Ulrich fell down, but still tried to get the love. Better. You fell out of the tall tower, you creep! No, I was saved at the last minute. Ow! Well, I'll tell you. But very soon he stopped. After all, according to Uri himself, he understood nothing awaits him there. Well, that's it for a story. I think I need to clarify it for a modern audience. It is a classical medieval love story of unreachable love. The witch and knight should go without any doubts or questions. The medieval poetry rises around a very high and very pure love, something that is not earthly in any way. And the main idea of medieval love stories is this, it's like a star. If you can reach it, it's not high enough. It is specially hyperbolized and to the extent the reasonable person thinks the protagonist is completely mad. Well, he's not. Well, thank you very much. Hope you like the story. Like it if you do, subscribe if you don't want to miss more. Bye bye.